Good morning you guys, Milkman here, back with another video for y'all. So you'll see throughout this video that it's gonna go ahead and do a lot more stuff to the truck, but I only got so much done. My inexperience only gets me so far in a day apparently. So we ended up getting a new tank strap on the truck because you'll see that I messed up on the tank strap. Earlier, I put a new shift knob on the truck so I got rid of the factory style looking shift knob on there. And I also put new glitter um, air brake handles on there, or air brake knobs. And then we got the oil changed up and I went through and greased the whole truck up. So make sure you guys watch through the video. As you can see, I got my Milkman hat on. I put a link in the description here if you want to go check out my store. I've got the hats. I've only got, I think, four left on there. So if you want a hat, go ahead and go grab that. And uh, otherwise, enjoy the video, you guys. Good morning, everybody. We are loaded up in the truck here with the parts that we've got. We're gonna head over to the shop. I gotta get the oil changed and we're gonna try and put some parts on. That you guys saw in my live stream there, I got new uh, brake, brake uh, knobs. I got a new shifter knob, and I'm gonna see what I can do about getting my uh, side panels on the cab and the bunk. So we'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, you guys, so we made it here to the shop. I'm gonna drop the bumper down here, and then we're gonna get the oil draining out, and then I'll work on getting the other stuff done. I'm gonna put those new brake knobs on. I'm gonna put my new shifter on there, or my shifter ball, and then try to get that dash wrapped in the white. Hopefully get the um, cabin uh, sleeper panels on, and then I'll also show you, as you can see here, I messed up my tank, unsurprisingly. Now, when I originally, because I this one had broken off of here while I was going down the interstate one time, and I saw in my mirror the tank was hanging, I was like, no way. So anyways, I had to put a new strap on here, and I ended up over torquing this one, so it stripped the knot out. But I also, I did not know that there was glue on one side, or I did know, or whatever, and I put that towards the tank. In reality, that's supposed to go around here so it sticks to this strap. So I got a new strap yesterday and I got a new webbing thing, I think it's called. We've got a new, we've got new bushings for this here because that's uh, bad. I got a new electrical mount here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this back so I have more holes back towards the trailer and it stops doing this. And I stop wrecking the trailer electrical boxes when I'm turning and stuff. So also on here, you'll see I got a new one of these because the it just looks, looks not good, you guys. It's definitely wore out. So I'm gonna replace that on there. Pretty much the day I'm sure it's gonna take up all my time. So we're gonna get to work here. Enjoy the video. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Go back, watch some of my other videos uh, after this one's done. All right, you guys, so if you can see on there, that's the nut we gotta get out of there. And then we're gonna drain it into here. And then, unfortunately, what ended up happening is, I'm not sure, the guy at the Peterbilt dealership gave me a fuel filter and not an oil filter. I wasn't paying attention when I walked out the door there with it. And uh, so now I'm gonna have to reuse the oil filter I have, at least for now. So it is what it is. We're gonna get this thing off here and then we're gonna drain it out and then get started on the rest of the project. As now we're gonna go ahead and get our oil filter off here so we can drain it out and then unfortunately reuse it again for a minute until I stop and it becomes a weekday <laughs> and I can actually get a, another oil filter instead of a fuel filter. That's pretty disappointing, I have to say. Yeah, these things are nice and heavy too. There we go. All right. So now I'll just dump this into there. 
And I might actually just try to set it up on this thing here. Oh, actually, I'm gonna get a couple boards and lay them across there. All right. Grab a couple of these here. Pull this out. Like that. And then just make sure, let that sit there and drain. I'm gonna grab one more bucket for that there. And then we will continue on. All right, so I went around and greased up the truck, got all the, oh, I don't know, all the stuff up here greased up. I went through and greased the uh, drive line. And now should be plenty drained out of here. And the pan should be plenty drained out. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that plug back in there and then hopefully get this fuel or the oil temp thing changed out up in there. I don't think you can really see it, but there's an oil temp gauge. Uh, the wire is dangling right here. That's gotta get fixed, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there now. We ended up getting a new filter, oil filter. Dad had one sitting in here, which we didn't think he had one because there was one other time I ended up uh, forgetting to get a oil filter and he ended up not having here, but somehow uh, I guess he's got one here now. So that worked out nice because now we just got the whole new filter on there. I really didn't want to put that old one on there because that would mean I'd have to replace it pretty soon here anyways because you don't want to run an old filter like that. So now we took the fuel filter off of here. As you might be able to see a little bit right here is where it goes. And the... Uh, he was gonna run off and grab some fuel so we could throw that in the filter before we put it on there. So it's got no issues with getting air in it. This is the new one here. Like I said, the guy at Peterbilt ended up giving me, I wanted two new oil filters so I could have one sitting here, but he ended up giving me two fuel filters. So now I got four fuel filters. I got a couple sitting in the truck still and uh, this one here. So we're gonna get that done and then move on to the next project. So, all right, well, I'm not 100% sure where I left off in the last part of the video here, but we got the oil changed now. I got the truck greased up and we've changed out the fuel filter on there, which I'm pretty sure is where I left off. As you guys can see here, we got the hood all shut up and coming around the front, we now have a license plate mounted down there. Thanks to my dad, he just put some like they're kind of like self-tapping screws almost in there and then dad just went ahead and uh ground the backs off because they were a little bit long and they would uh push this out so he ground those out there and now that looks a lot cleaner not having it up in the windshield and it's probably a lot more legal <laughs> so now i'm going to get this here put on which is always a task Last time it was, my biggest issue was trying to have the tank like mounted right so I could get the strap around and pushed up through there so I had enough thread to get the nut started on there. So we'll see how it goes this time. Also, I'll know that this will be turned around and it will be stuck on to this thing. So it's not gonna be sitting here flopping around like this. So let's see how it goes. I'll check in with you guys as we're making progress. Okay, so I got a jack here. I just threw a piece of wood on the bottom so we could flatten it out, as you can see. And I'm just gonna jack the edge of the tank up a little bit. There you go. So I'll just pick it up here and then take this nut off here and then that'll drop that strap down. And then there's uh, back in there a little bolt type thing that I gotta pull out of there so we can drop that strap off and get our new strap on. Okay, so for taking it off, I'm gonna use the impact and uh, 19. Now to put it back on, I made the mistake in the first place of using the impact to put it on. So I think that's how it got stripped out. 
about to take it off. I'm not too worried about this one. So I'm going to put it Now also I have a, a ratchet strap around the tank holding it up. So, and there's not a whole lot of fuel left in here. But I ended up getting a new nut and washer this time. When last time I was doing it, I did not have a new nut and washer. So I had to reuse the old one, which was already pretty much trash. So I'm gonna get this one and then I gotta pop this off and then um, we'll get the new one going on here. So as you guys can see, possibly, I got my headlight on now. Uh, this little piece right here, I forgot what they're called, little copper things, but you just gotta bend those down, push it out, and then this little bolt that goes through here will actually just push right out, which now I'm realizing I got my strap right there, so that might be in the way. We'll see, I might pull out from that side and push it out this way, but we'll figure it out as we go here, show you guys that. Okay, you guys, so I ended up being able to uh, jack the tank up enough here with this here, and I was able to take the strap off. I just loosened it up. So now I'm gonna pop it off up here. See if the tank drops down and cuts my hand off. And then we'll just be done trucking until we can get that repaired. There we go. So now I'm just gonna push this out the other side. Lose our washer. And then we'll just pull that right out and then I'll pull it off the tank and then we'll throw our new um, new liner on the band here the strap up into that there up into the uh, frame holder and then wrap it all the way around put the piece back up in there put the bolt through there and then we'll work on getting the uh, bolt through the hole over there and get that tightened up. So Hopefully it goes as good as uh, we want it to but it never does so We'll show you once we get a little bit farther along the process here. All right So now this is the new strap as you can see here the threads are not all stripped out and we have ourselves a Fancy new washer and locking nut here so I'm going to peel this blue stuff off the inside and then this is my first time trying to do it the right way. So I think what I'm going to do is put this on underneath here like that on that where that bolt went through and then I think I'm going to line it uh, with the webbing around and then I, I will um, put it the rest of the way on before actually starting to put any webbing on. Otherwise, I'm thinking maybe putting webbing on and then putting this on there and lining it around, but we'll, we'll try it like this, see how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna get this strap around this tank. See how this goes here. I left the liner on the outside of the strap, so hopefully it stays pretty decent. That way when I take the liner off, it won't be uh, scratched up. But anyways, we're gonna get this thing around there like this. And then move it over here like so. And then we pull it out a little bit, get my bolt. Now what does this side look like? All right, well. All right, so it is a task to try to get this thing out. There we go. There. All right, and then I'm gonna throw a washer on here. I gotta grab a new cotter pin to uh, twist around there. And it looks like I need another washer because I don't have one. So I'm gonna throw a washer on, I'll throw my cotter pin on, and uh, then we'll throw our strap, our uh, webbing or whatever they call it around this and then we'll work on getting the tank back up into its spot and tighten back in. All right, so this is where I made it. Now I got the strap around from the top here, down around the tank, up to this side. Now this is what I'm not 
100% sure on is when I get to this kind of stuff here, do I just take the sticky stuff off until I get to here? And then pick the tank, like, and then push this up and have it on there. And then pick the tank up and then do the rest. Or do I just stick it around the whole thing here and then pick the, all right. I, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unstick this to this point where the uh, frame mount for the tank is. Stick it on there, pick the tank up. That way I got room and then I'll stick this to the actual tank strap there and go from there. So we'll see how it goes. So I got it peeled back down to there as you can see. And then I stuck it up here onto this strap. Now I'm going to go ahead. We'll see what this is like. There's not too much fuel in the tank. I ran it pretty low before I did this. So just want that to be nice and tight in there. There, now that shouldn't go anywhere. So, it's already working out better than last time. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and get the strap wrapped the rest of the way around this. And then get this pulled up to this here. And then we'll work on making sure this stays aligned with the strap. And then get this through and tightened up and not strip it off this time. Okay, you guys, so this is the problem I ran into last time with it. I get about this close. So the bolt about lines up right with the hole there. And then, as you can see down under here maybe, this tank strap, see how much space is underneath here? I always have, a, have so much trouble trying to get it back around the tank so I can get my bolt through this hole and then tighten it up. But it looks like, you know, if I jack it up a little bit, the tank gets tied up against here which I will say, it's working out a lot better this time since I have the tape on the right side. It just seems difficult to get that part around there so we can get this up in here and tighten it down. So I just gotta figure out how to get this pulled up farther and we'll go from there. Okay, well, now that I'm out of breath, as you can see, I got it through. I ended up pulling like out on the strap to get it pulled tight this way because there was so much extra on the other side and then pulling it up and getting enough through where I could at least get it threaded on here. So now I'm just going to grab a ratchet wrench and just work on getting that tightened up there. And hopefully we'll be good to go. So difficult as planned, but it's going to work out a lot better now, especially the tape is on the right side and it's staying aligned around the tank way better this time. All right, guys, well, we got it. There's actually no gap between the strap and the tank all the way around now. So I can't believe I did it. Shout out to dad for telling me that the tape actually goes towards the strap because last time, like I said, I ran it the other way. So now I'm just going to actually cut off the rest of this here so we don't have this dangling around. And then that's going to be a done deal. I'll peel the rest of this off here now that we're done getting it on. And that'll be nice to have that tank fixed up again. Okay, so now we've got our brake, new brake knobs here. We got the sparkling glitter. We're gonna replace these trash bags here. As you can see that I did not vinyl wrap the dash yet. We'll get to that later. It's getting late really quick. So we're just gonna do kind of the easy stuff now and then we'll work on doing the other stuff later on. So I'm gonna change these out and then I'm gonna put my white uh, white cover on here with my glitter ball up there. So we're gonna get working on that and we'll show you guys progress as we go through. All right, well, we got these mounted on now. Took the whole dash part off just to figure out that all I had to do was unscrew them to put those on. So got that done. Then they got little screws in the side here that I just needed to use like a little I don't know if you call those hex keys or whatever, but I tighten those in so now they don't spin back off. And my phone holder will not really work there anymore unless I put it up and my phone is tilted backwards like that, which I guess not the worst thing in the world, but it's just, we'll probably find a different spot for it. So now we're gonna work on the shifter here. I'm gonna get this pulled off, figure out what I gotta do to get that new one on with the sparkling purple 
ball on it. All right, well, we ended up taking this apart. I had no idea what I was doing like usual. And I took these two bolts out. And when I took the top piece off, it fell apart, fell on the floor, and basically just like exploded everywhere. So I had no idea what I was doing. And it was irritating because there was two springs. There was like three little like bearing balls is what I would describe them as. And uh, another little like U half moon shaped piece. So I spent quite a while, figured this part out anyways, how to get that one back together. But then I didn't know how to get the red piece back on there and ended up figuring out that as well. So we got that far. That took a good hour just trying to get that figured out. Now I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna get this cover off of here and then I'm gonna get my white one on and then we're gonna finally get to where we wanna be with getting the purple, uh, sh purple shifter knob on here. So that's where we're at now.